Hi everyone, my name is Kendra Ward. Thank you so much for listening today. Our topic of the day is consumption. So not just consumption through your wallet or through your mouth, uh, but how you consume through your eyes and your ears, other ways of consuming information. So I had the interesting experience the other day of walking down the street and um, someone was sweeping the street. So they, they just moved over so that I could walk on through while they were sweeping. And uh, in the five seconds it took for me to uh, stop, <clears throat> to, to interrupt what they were doing and to walk by them so they could stop sweeping, the person pulled out their phone. And, uh, and it, it struck me how, our phones have become kind of like binkies, like like nookies, like what babies need to suck on all the time. You know that we are so uncomfortable being present and still with ourselves for five seconds that those adult nookies come out and we, we need to be sucked in. So I feel like I've done some other posts on uh, technology and our lack of boundaries around technology. Um, but I'm here once again to give you a few few tips and a few ways to be a little more, bit more aware of how you're consuming and what you're consuming. So the first step with this is just to realize that we don't just consume like through eating, but that, you know, how we, how we consume through eating, of course, is really, really important. But let's start to use this word consume in other ways so that we think about how when we watch TV or watch a movie or conversation with someone or a book we read or music we hear, that these are all forms of consuming information into our system. So our, our brain processes that, but it gets access through our mind and through our nervous system. And it all has a strong impact. And oftentimes I think that we are not aware enough of how this is how this is impacting our body. So in traditional Chinese medicine, there's this idea that how, when we overthink, over worry, over analyze, that over time, the impacts of that uh, have the ability to uh, impact our digestive systems. So this connection from um, how we're thinking and how that impacts another area of our bodies. So we're so interrelated and it's helpful to uh, break out of our uh, compartmentalized view of the body and to realize that how our minds are functioning really has a deep impact on the rest of our system. So here are three ways that you can uh, interact with how you're consuming a little more mindfully. So the first step is become a little more aware of uh, when you are watching that favorite awesome TV show at night with your spouse or partner and you're really sucked in and you love it, but then when you're actually honest with yourself, you realize that, hmm, I don't sleep well after I watch this show and I tend to ruminate and spend a lot of time thinking about characters and what's gonna happen and oh my gosh, and you know, we realize that um, when we really, really are honest and discerning, we realize that sometimes the way that we're consuming is not working towards our highest benefit um, in terms of how we're feeling, in terms of how that's impacting us. And this can be true for in so many areas of our life. It can be true definitely for the news, of course, we want to know what's happening in our world, but maybe there are some ways that you could consume um, in a way that doesn't impact you so deeply. And one really key tidbit to this is that we tend to be much uh, more greatly impacted by things that we see versus things that we hear. So keeping that in mind, sometimes the radio can have a, a less deep emotional impact than um, something that we watch on TV. So that's the first step is just being more honest and open and aware in your life and uh, being willing to actually key into how things are making you feel. So the second tip is um, to then you set some intentions, set some rules for yourself, engage in positive discipline around how much time you're going to devote in your daily life to uh, certain types of consumption. So this may be that you realize 
oh, you know, I, I, I get on Facebook and I tend to get really, really sucked in and a whole hour goes by. Well, use those timers. Use a timer. Set a timer for 10 minutes because that's the true amount of time that you want to spend on this activity and, uh, and, and stick by it. So when the timer goes off, um, that's it. You know, shut down no matter what you're engaged in, that you're really, really um, uh, willing willing to uh, use, set those intentions and use those boundaries. Just the same way that you would with a child where, you know, you might say like, no, I know that an hour, past an hour of video and you get all wonky, um, you know, you got to set those same limitations for yourself. So number three is use technology to your benefit. Use some kind of timing app like Stay Focused or Freedom as a way to actually stay, stay more focused. Um, and this just leads itself to a, a, a bigger topic around how you are using your life's energy. What are you spending and giving that life's energy towards? And is that all in alignment with your higher philosophies and values for your life? So really, really um, taking some time to evaluate what is deeply important to you and, uh, and what you want to spend your time doing. So using technology uh, as your friend, because it certainly has the ability to do awesome things for us and connect us in great ways, but we just really need to know how to use it. And then the last little bit is that with any new routine or habit that you are allowing yourself at least three weeks to let it all settle in. So three weeks is the time period that that tender time period um, when when we when we're changing a routine or engaging in a new positive habit, that's the time it takes for it to really start to solidify. So give this time, and um, I feel like uh, you'll really start to to harness the benefits. So. Um, you know, here's to throwing out the adult binky, being really present with how you're using and needing your phone, um, being able to have the courage to look someone in the eye and smile when they're passing by instead of hiding behind our phones as a as a, an avoidance and distraction tool. So I thank you for listening and I hope that this was helpful. Please do pass it along. And until next time, have a great week.